And bam, I would call that perfect. I would call that perfect. The car, I mean, the car is driving itself through roundabouts and all this different kind of crazy stuff. So we will see if the car will squeeze through here okay. This is not actually a driveway. What the heck is that? Okay, let's turn around. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another full self-driving beta video. I wanna say thank you to all the new subscribers. You're really taking that seriously, it's awesome. 70 to 80% of people watching are not subscribed and if even half of those people in the last month would have subbed, we'd be at 100K, I get a sweet silver YouTube plaque. So if you wanna subscribe, please do that, I really appreciate it. Full self-driving beta, ooh, another self-driving car over there uh, from Yandex. Full self-driving beta is not finished. It is not out to the public yet. So it can and will make mistakes. That's why my hand is on the wheel. I'm ready to take over at any time. If you see the blue steering wheel right here, that means the car is doing all maneuvers. If I take over, it's pretty obvious. You'll know that I took over. So today, this video is gonna be focusing on roundabouts. And I'm just gonna go to different roundabouts today throughout the day, so the editing might be a little weird, but different roundabouts throughout the day. And I'm just gonna push the car through those, let it attempt those, not hit them. And the car, has been doing well with roundabouts. It's been doing a really good job. I wanna make sure that it's consistently good through roundabouts or if they're flukes where the car just happened to do a good job. So a question I've been getting a lot, what happens if you don't put a destination in the navigation? Well, I mean, the car will drive, but how's it supposed to know that you wanna turn or, or left or right or where to go if you don't tell it? So I figure let's go to this roundabout and back there I used to have a bug where it would mess up and now it's fixed, so that's great. So. Let's go through this roundabout with no destination. So the car is waiting for this big truck. And now it's gonna go. Kinda cut somebody off, so I have to hit the accelerator. Yep, there's somebody behind me. Here, you can see them, they're behind us now. And it just went to the right, so that worked fine. So let's go back to that roundabout. But let's put a destination this time. Let's say this is our destination. Because I wanna see if the car can do a full roundabout and come back out the same side that it went in. So we may need to give the car a little more time to reroute than this, but let's see what happens. Oh, I didn't have my turn signal on. Sorry, everybody. You guys are very particular about the driving rules, which I like, that's great. We should be very careful about that. So it won't even let me turn on the beta because it's confused. Oh, look at that, it does have the route. Boom, just in time. So it has turn signal on. See, stopping for traffic control. We don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna tell it to go, yep, it's, Okay, it figured it out. It was like gonna go to the left, like illegally around the circle, but and now it's doing it correctly. You can see the car is doing it. Keep going, keep going. And look at that, a full roundabout in the traffic circle. That's really good. That, that was great. I mean, a little, little weird, but I did, again, at the last minute, kind of put that on it. So pretty good, let's try one more time. Let's go to the third exit on the roundabout. All right, so destination was put in to the nav. We're going to the third exit now. And if we could go all the way around, I don't think this will be a problem, but. So yeah, stopping here is uh, our biggest issue with roundabouts right now. Yield signs you should not be stopping at. Getting a little close to the center circle there, but still did a good job. And yeah, we exited on the third exit, that is great. Let's go for one more third exit and go to a different roundabout. Next destination is in. We'll allow the car to take us out of here, if it can handle that. It seems leaving, yeah, so accelerator or gear stock to continue. It seems leaving parking lots and parking structures and things is a little iffy. Like there, it stopped for that car very nicely. Nobody's coming from the right, so we should be fine there. These people, humans, are displayed there. So that was good, but it seems to not be really ready for that yet. Again, the system's not done. Things are still being added. A lot of people ask about Smart Summon. I, I will probably make a video for you, but they're not really working on it. So it's not really different from the public build. So another third exit here on this roundabout. Again, I most likely will hit the accelerator because I don't wanna stop here. So well, I'll just let it do its thing, nobody's behind me. So stops and it's really slowly continuing. So that's a person and their dog and went close to that curb there, but did not hit it. I did end up very gently tapping the accelerator. But besides that, we made it through again. So it seems that the system is now capable of roundabouts. And while not perfect, I'll keep saying not done. And we're getting there. So now we're heading to another roundabout up here and we will be taking the second exit. 
Next roundabout, we have another Model 3 over there to our left. We are stopping too much, so I tap the accelerator again. I will continue to do that. I'm not sure, and then very nicely goes through that roundabout. I would call that perfect. I'm not sure if things like that are sent to Tesla, my little interventions where I hit the accelerator. From what we've heard, you would expect that to be the case, but I don't know if it's true. I have not heard from Tesla or anybody else if that's true or not. Okay, so coming up to a double roundabout here. Just two roundabouts in a row. I'm just gonna set that gas station across the way in the nav. And we do have a car coming, and the Tesla creeps out, waits for it, and then keeps going. So a little close. Again, I just don't want anybody to think I don't see them or I'm gonna run into them, but that was, that was fine, felt good, nice and slow. So we make it through the first roundabout. Speed is set to 54. That's quick, but the car is handling this area fine, even though the speed is set so high. I would assume that's the speed limit of the road. To be honest, I don't know. I just came off the highway and getting a tiny bit close to the curb, but no big deal. Nice move to the left there and very good. So it made it across there very nicely. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna start through these through this roundabout. I'm going to turn autopilot on and we're just gonna go back to that same gas station. I'm gonna see how the car's gonna handle this. So stepping at that yield sign, I'm hitting the accelerator. I just, I don't like to stop at those. And now the car knows we need to go all the way around this roundabout to go back to where I was originally. We'll see if it'll handle it. Seems like it's doing really well so far. And bam, I would call that perfect. I would call that perfect. So good. So good in the roundabouts. Don't think we have a worry here. Okay, so we're at the roundabouts of death. I did not name them that, but that's what I was told they're called. <laughs> Somebody mentioned that to me and I had taken off a route, but I just put it back on. So we exited the highway and the car handled that fine. It was kind of its own little dedicated lane. So not too big of a deal. Now this destination is on the other side of the roundabout, which is really weird, but we're going to let the car try to get there. And then we're gonna make a destination over here. Now, again, the car keeps, <laughs> the car keeps stopping at the yield signs, which is not good. I have written an email to the autopilot team about that. So hopefully something will be updated with that. So I'm currently driving right now while it puts in the destination and that's not going to be what I want anyway. So let me get this destination up. Again, it's difficult because I have to put in a destination to let the car know what maneuvers to do. If I just randomly start going, I guess I can turn autopilot on here. Let's see. So this is how you do it, Tesla. You slow down a bit. All right, they're not coming for us. Let's go. We move through. That's how it's supposed to be done. So I will turn on autopilot as soon as I can right here. By the time we get to this next, this third roundabout, the car should know to turn all the way around. Okay, so it says stopping for traffic control in 200 feet and it shows the little roundabout symbol. So yeah, it's just, it's just doing that wrong. But again, it's not done. So it'll be, it'll be updated. So I'm hitting the accelerator just to move through. The car is gonna go all the way around. A little hesitant there. This person waits for me at the yield sign like they're supposed to. And really good, so this is great. I mean, yeah, the car's a little iffy and, and it needs some updates, but we're getting them. There should be a new update. Honestly, by the time this is posted, we may be on a new software version, so make sure you're keeping up with all the videos. But the roundabouts are doable. They're just a little sketchy. Not the big of a deal. It's a self-driving car. I'm still <laughs> blown away by it. On my last video about the deer avoid. So there we go. So now waiting for the person and it continues through. So I did not use the accelerator there. I'm gonna now though, because we're going too slow. So on my last video about the deer avoid, which was very cool, I was very impressed. I just got some comments, which, you know, no big deal. When the videos get that big, you get a lot of comments from people that don't know about Tesla or don't like it or whatever. And they were saying things like, uh, any human could have stopped for that or blah, blah, blah. And it's like, well, yeah, but the, the car is <laughs> seeing a deer and reacting appropriately to it. It did exactly what it needed to in that situation. Yes, it would have been cool if the car was going faster or the deer was slower, but I didn't have control over any of that. So that's what we got out of the video. So yeah, the car, <laughs> the car is driving itself through roundabouts and all this different kind of crazy stuff. So I'm really enjoying that. I got one more set. Yeah, so that wasn't very good. We'll report that. I have one more set of roundabouts that I can, oh, that's a tight squeeze, hold on. Okay, I put in this destination here. We're going down to 10 miles an hour. I just see on the other side of this bend, you'll see in a second, there's a very tight squeeze with a dumpster and some traffic cones. 
So we will see if the car will squeeze through here okay. It is displaying the dumpster, like as a truck or something, and it's displaying the cones. Oh yeah, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, that's a, a tiny bit of a tight squeeze, but it did a really good job with that. So waiting for our turn. This is kind of a parking lot. I'm not gonna worry too much about that weirdness. And then we're going, going to exit onto this roundabout. We'll attempt these roundabouts one final time, just in case, and then we'll move on to the next set. So waiting for a car coming from the left. So now we have several cars, so waiting for our turn. And the car's gonna move up a little bit, which is great, very good. Moving up a bit more, we have two more cars here to wait for. And that's it. I have to hit the accelerator, unfortunately. It was not gonna go fast enough. So yeah, we're learning it's a little timid in the roundabouts. Another thing I've seen is Tesla is inviting more people to the beta, it seems. If you get an invite, don't share anything. So moving over to this lane, which is good because we need to continue through. Don't share anything about that until Tesla kind of tells you, you know, hey, you're good to, I, I again, hit the accelerator there. Pretty much if you see it go through the yield sign, that's gonna be me. Don't, don't share anything until Tesla lets you know you can, just so you know. There's an i3 over there. So again, me hitting the accelerator. And got a little construction here. Actually, this was in one of my last videos, this right turn up here. So this right turn lane is closed. The car thinks it needs to be over there because normally it would, but it can see all the cones. It can see all the stuff in our way and it is waiting. And now it's gonna just stop at this red light, of course. All right, so going for our last set of roundabouts here, we got another triple set at night. It's dark, and I can say I have never attempted this set of roundabouts in the beta yet. People were asking, can you check other roundabouts that you haven't used to see if the fixes were specific to you? And of course, the fixes will kind of trend towards me. So pretty good there, moving to the next one. Foot on the accelerator. I don't think I actually pushed it though, so that was pretty good. Of course, the fixes will trend towards me because I'm the one putting in the data, but that roundabout worked. I've never used it before. Let's turn around and attempt all three. All right, I've put in a destination on the other side of the roundabouts, stopping at this stop sign. Car is then continuing. Had plenty of room to do that move. Let me get this out of your way. So we're gonna go straight across all three, and then I will try to make it do a turnaround and go all the way around the roundabouts, and then I will enter back onto the highway for the final one. So waiting there, they're good. I touch the accelerator. Pretty much on this build, it seems you have to do that. And looking pretty good. Nice big roundabout with that low middle, which uh, confused it in the initial build I had, but that worked well. Again, I have never attempted these roundabouts before. So this is the first time I am on these roundabouts with the full self-driving beta. These roundabouts hitting the accelerator are in. See, that driver over there is like, what is this guy doing? So that's, that's not good, it'll get fixed. These roundabouts are in a video I did a very long time ago, probably over a year ago, where I attempted a roundabouts. I'm just keeping my foot in the accelerator now. With the old full self or the old uh, autopilot, I mean, I had full self driving, but obviously it couldn't do roundabouts. And it was terrible. I mean, it made it through one. I did it maybe 20 times and it made it to the second exit of one. So very good there. Now roundabouts seem really solid at night. Never before attempted. This is not actually a driveway. What the heck is that? Okay, let's turn around. All right, it does know. I was gonna manually drive myself through this first one like a pleb, but it does know to go all the way around to go back to our destination. Let's do it. Ooh, I did touch the accelerator there, but barely. I feel like it did that on its own. And will we go all the way around? Let's see. No problem at all. Very impressive. Let me, I'm gonna wait for a second, let me take a clip of the cameras and you'll have been seeing that. So you can see kind of what the cameras are seeing. Very cool. Now let's get back onto the highway. So again, going through all three roundabouts and then taking the third exit on the final roundabout. Foot on accelerator, that's just how it's gonna be. Foot off accelerator. I assume you want to know those things. Very good, not moving, that would take us onto the highway in the wrong direction. We have a kind of weird turn signal there, foot on foot off. So it just needs that nudge through. I don't need to hold the accelerator for it to move through. And then our final roundabout, we will go all the way around and enter the highway. Very nice. I know, okay, I'm accelerator, so I don't, 
Okay, so besides the stopping, very nice. Ooh, that's a sharp bend, but it's handling it beautifully. I know the second the action's done, you all X out of the video, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I look forward to talking to you down in the comments, and you will see full self-driving beta in the next video. So Autopilot and I are happily driving along 